patients avoid irregular heartbeats. So does the tanking economy condemn us to a life of frozen and canned food on the dinner table? Some dietitians think not. Valerie Town from CNN affiliate KTKA has the skinny on eating healthy with empty pockets. Almost everyone is feeling the penny pinching their pocket in this economy, but one thing people cannot completely take out of their budget is food. People probably cut down on travel and people cut down on this and that, but people are always going to eat. Shoppers have been zoning in on the frozen food and can aisles, which usually hold products filled with tons of sodium and preservatives. We're definitely buying more things like macaroni and cheese and things like that, and a lot of it's because I have two small kids and we, fruit and vegetables go bad in the, in the refrigerator by the time we get around to all of them. But dietitians say there are ways to have a healthy diet on a budget. Consumers just need a few tricks. A person doesn't have to change everything to eat healthy, just a few key changes can really make a big difference. And if you really can't help passing up those 10 items for $10 deals, go ahead and grab them. There is even a way to make those nutritious. Dietitians say that if you're on a budget and want to buy something like ramen noodles, that's absolutely fine. Just make sure that you're buying a vegetable and a lean meat to make it a well-balanced meal. It's also important for consumers to buy only as much as they will eat. So make sure when you're buying in bulk that you're not only considering um, the economic value, you know, is it really cheaper, but also looking at your own family household, is it going to get consumed? Because if you're throwing it out, it's not more economical to buy it in bulk. But like many things in life, it is all about compromise. We're trying to keep it you know, keep it healthy as much as we can, but we also don't have a ton of extra money to spend, so there's, there's a little bit of give and take.